Hello and welcome to another Rin Reads. Um, so today we're looking at Sweet Valley Twins number five, sneaking out. Um, <laughs> wow, I had a lot of thoughts on this book. Um, so basically what happens is Johnny Buck is coming to Sweet Valley and Jessica and Elizabeth want to go to the concert. Steven gets tickets to take his girlfriend and Mr. and Mrs. Wakefield think that the twins are too young, which granted, I mean, it is a concert. They're in grade six, so they're like 12. I can understand why parents wouldn't want their 12 year old daughters going to a concert unchaperoned. Um, so, <laughs> of course, Jessica doesn't take no for an answer ever, and she concocts this whole plan of how she's gonna get a ticket and get to go to the concert because the year before when Johnny Buck was in town, she caught his hat that he threw out into the crowd. And of course, his eyes laid on her and it was meant for her and they're, they're, they're in love, it's true love. So, um, one of the things that I really thought was interesting, this concert started at 4 p.m. I don't know about you guys, I don't know about the 80s, because I wasn't going to concerts in the 80s. I was a small child in the 80s. Um, but 4 p.m. for a rock concert. Like, that just seemed really odd to me. I have been to many concerts in my life, and none of them have started before 7 p.m. None. Like maybe you get to the venue before 7 p.m. So you can buy all your merch and you know, that sort of thing, but not actually starting. So I thought that was a really weird detail. So um, comment below if you have been to a concert that early. And I don't mean like just any concert, like Johnny Buck is a very popular rock artist. So if you've been to a rock concert before, even 5 p.m. Like 4 p.m. is just weird. Anyways, that's my own personal opinion. If I'm wrong, please let me know if you've been to a concert that early, if that was a thing that happened back in the 80s, or if this is just a thing for a Sweet Valley Twin book to make it more innocent for the kids reading it. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so this is also where Jessica... Um, starts taking care of their neighbor's dog um, to get money for the concert ticket. And in the end, she tricks the neighbor into giving her the money early for her mother's birthday present. She steals Elizabeth's brand new dress that she, Elizabeth bought with her own money. And then she steals the gift that Elizabeth bought their mom for her birthday which are these gold hoop earrings to wear to the concert. So, I mean, Jessica does a lot in this book and it kind of floors me how no matter what she does, she always gets off kind of easy. Um, if that was my child and that happened, I would not let my child off that easy. Though, I guess to be fair, the Wakefields never know that she went to the concert. They just know that she lost the dog she was supposed to be taking care of. Um, Elizabeth, on the other hand, if it was my sister that stole my dress and my gift for our mom's birthday, I would not be that nice, I don't think. So anyways, I just, I, yeah. I always find it really interesting how easily Jessica gets away with most of her schemes. Um, in this, it also sets up for the next book which is, oh, they don't even have the, oh, there you go, The New Girl. Yeah, so The New Girl with Brooke Dennis, that I've already reviewed that one, but of course we have that initial meeting with Brooke while Jessica's out walking Sally. The one and only time that Jessica actually walks Sally in this book. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I just, I loved Jessica's naivety. I, I think, we have all had that time where we have fixated on a celebrity to the point that in our head we build up this 
imaginary, or maybe it was just me, but I have a feeling this is a universal experience, that you think, oh, if they only knew me, if they only knew me, things would be different, we would be in love. Um, so I think it's kind of cute how she's so fixated on Johnny Buck. And I really honestly like felt for her 12 year old heartbreaking when she realized how many other girls had the exact same hat and realized that this was kind of a publicity thing that he does is throwing this hat out to fans. So I, I felt for Jessica. I definitely felt for Jessica and yeah. Um, overall, I think it's ridiculous that she got away with this, but I was also the goody two-shoe teenager, like, I, I didn't do stuff like this. And I know there are lots of kids who snuck out and do th did things like that, so, I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised, because it is a thing. I just, I, I didn't do that, because I was more terrified of the consequences <laughs> than I think Jessica is. <laughs> but I overthink everything, so... Fair. Um, but yeah, anyways, really enjoyed this book. Um, I've, like I said, I've already done The New Girl. So um, I've done The New Girl and then book seven. I forget what that one's called. So we're moving on to book eight, first place, um, which of course is about Lila and her horse. So I'm excited to get into this because I have done book seven and book nine. So it's kind of fun to finally get in to bridge that gap. Um, it's kind of amazing how much I've been able to kind of build my collection in such a short amount of time. Um, I've been doing thrift stores, I've been doing used bookstores, a little bit online, um, and then also having friends and family in other cities looking for the books for me. So yeah, it's, it's getting there. Um, I still have gaps, but Fingers crossed. Um, anything past 100, I'm having a hard time getting hold of, as well as a lot of the later super editions. Um, I have all of the super chillers except for one. I have all the magna editions, um, and I have a large majority of the regular books up to 100. I'm, I'm kind of lucky that I kept 97, 98, 99, 100, because it was the frightening four, and they, they were like special books, so those are ones that I actually kept and didn't get rid of. So those are my original, original books. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get more and also fill in those few gaps that I have going up to 100. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.